everyone. This is Mark Semedini with Hewlett Packard Enterprise, and I'm here with Dave Loper. Um, he works there at Clear Center, and we're today going to talk a little bit about the marketplace and how you do search, searching for specific apps. We're also going to cover managing the settings within the marketplace, and then we'll use the feature wizard at the end to install a group of apps. So uh, without further ado, Dave, take yeah, it away. Thank you. So yeah, uh, as Mark uh, said, we're so the on ClearOS you've got uh, the marketplace, which is a central feature. Um, you know, from the dashboard, which is your default screen up here at the top, you can click on marketplace, and this shows you a list of all the apps that you can install for ClearOS. And by default, it's going to have a display that shows uh, all of the different apps, and it can be um, kind of uh, difficult to find exactly what you're looking for if you're looking at too many uh, tiles and this is your kind of first time. So we have different search categories that you can uh, look at. Um, so here in the any category, we've broken it down into the main types of uh, application units in ClearOS. So we have cloud, and this is the list of the cloud apps. We have server, we have uh, network, we have gateway and system and we also have reports so these are the groupings of each of the apps and an app will have one grouping and one grouping only so a quick question for you so on the left nav bar here i see cloud network system reports what's the difference between that nav bar and what you're just showing me right there there's absolutely no difference when you install an app that's where it's going to land uh, one of the reasons why you don't see server, for example, on the left-hand side is because at this point we don't have any server apps installed. Mm -hmm. But as soon as we do, they would show up here. Okay. So uh, if I look at server, I can look at you know any price. Uh, that's going to show both free and that's going to show paid apps. The any price category will. And I can look at uh, when it was introduced. Um, and I can look at the status, uh, if it's been installed. Uh, this, this shows all the marketplace things that have been installed already. This shows me all the ones that are not installed. Um, now, the reason for the installed is because maybe you want to see what's already installed from the marketplace and you want to uninstall something, or maybe you want to uh, see what's already installed so that you can configure it because you're just not finding it on the navigation pane um, and 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 being able to find it from the marketplace allows you to kind of see exactly where that is so here for example we're going to say uh, within the last 30 days and i can see this is a new app that has been added uh, the reset filters button here lets us just kind of reset it all back uh, to the, the default which is to show everything so uh, you can scroll all the way down to the bottom it's only going to give you a limited number of items the the thing that you want to do here is if you're if you're looking through it and you're just browsing through everything you can click the next button here or the very last page button to get right to the end and work your way back up everything in the marketplace is alphabetical by default so uh, how do i make this more usable to me if uh, I'm using it. One of the ways to do that is to uh, use this gear up here. So there's some icons up here. This gear here lets us uh, change the settings. So there's a very important button here and that's clear cache. Sometimes there are some things that people can do at command line and uh, to mess things up or there's certain things that applications might do if they've got a bug. Uh, to mess up the download process and this clear cache uh, goes and clears that out so that we kind of have a fresh slate uh, this is especially important if you've like got some rapid updates that are coming down or or you think that there's something that's that's wrong clearing the cache is a good way to 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 uh, troubleshoot that it's like a easy no-brainer troubleshooting step hmm. So number of apps to display, we can crank this up so that we display all of the apps, for example. And when we go back to our display, it will just load everything. So it took a long time there, but 
everything is listed here in a very, very long, long list. If you're already very familiar with uh, ClearOS, you can choose to change the display to a tile and you can change the uh, number of apps to display. You can change, change it to a tile and then hit all or, or a certain number of apps to display. And the tile mode lets you see the apps like this. So there's no descriptions, but you can boom, boom, boom. I know what I already want. Mm -hmm. So that's a, that's a fast way for some admins who already know the apps in the marketplace to be able to select all of the things. Now here you're seeing kind of a difference between these icons at the bottom. Select for install means I don't have it installed. And this means that I can configure it. So that's the, that's the main difference between those two. So now that we've got it configured, I, I like it in this way because of course I'm familiar with the apps and I know what it is that I want and I know the names of them and they're alphabetical. So that makes it easy for me. But for others, they may want a description. So you leave it at the other uh, the other configured uh, method. So going back to the settings, uh, this you can set your pseudonym for doing rating. So we have a feedback engine. You can rate apps and tell people if uh, you like it or not. And you can change this so that it's got your name and I'm going to put my name in there. And the support policy, that's this bit right here. So we'll do that in another video and explain what this means, but you can basically control whether or not that's shown. And you can uh, display recommended apps, and uh, these are the types of things that you can do. This is informational here. So I'm going to hit update. Now, back on this main page, uh, there's another icon here that has looks like a little magic wand. That is for the feature wizard. If you did an install of ClearOS and you went through the mark, the, uh, the, inst the initialization wizard, there was the feature wizard option there. And you may have already gone through this because you did that with um, the install uh, wizard. But if you, if you skip the feature wizard or if you used a different mechanism to finish the, the wizard, then this feature wizard, you may want to be able to go through it another time. So this is showing us these different apps that are kind of in the different categories. So here we, we start out with directory services. So this is kind of a guided way to say, okay, most people, they're, they're going to put down directory services. This is the, the options. These are the two roads to go down, for example. This is I'm hooking up to Microsoft Active Directory. This is I'm running ClearOS as the directory server. So I'm going to select this for install. And I'm going to hit the next section. So here we're talking about the firewall and networking. This is a very you know quick way to say, oh yeah, I want this, that, and the other for my firewall. And you may not have considered a particular app because you know it's in the marketplace and and it was in a big long list and you didn't see that. But you know on second thought, you're you're like, okay, that makes sense. I'm doing this as a firewall. I want all of these different things and I'm going to just um, select them all. Next we have perimeter security and this groups things uh, by kind of that paradigm and what's nice about this is that going through this uh, groups it by paradigm and rather than by category. So most of these are gateway apps but this one for example is a cloud app and so you don't if you search by cloud it would be in a different place even though it goes hand in hand with this app and this app so the signatures update the signatures in this app and this app so it makes sense to, to add them here and i can see by my subscription that i have entitlement to that and we'll cover that in a different section we have web content control and tools that are for that and uh, email groupware type decisions uh, some of these are mutually exclusive so that's why they're kind of listed together so you can make a decision and uh, disaster and data recovery what kind of backup plan do i want to use what kind of backup tools do i want to install and that's how you get through uh, that 
section. So, and so if there's other categories like, say, for example, media serving or database or whatever. Those apps haven't fallen into a category yet and haven't been, sh they don't show up here in this feature wizard. They, they don't show up here in the feature wizard because the feature wizard basically covers the the minimal recommended kind of configuration I for see. Clear OS. It's, it's kind of like the, the uh, approach of, you know, what really makes a, a solid uh, server or uh, a solid offering here in these particular categories. If, if I need some some guidance or steps so mostly things that have like a decision tree process where it's one or the other or things that are best practices like the firewall and like in the perimeter security section fall into this feature wizard because perimeter security if this is your if this is your gateway or if this is running in standalone mode with firewall on the internet you're going to want those things so the key thing to know then if you for example since these apps are intelligently integrated if I ended up selecting here in this disaster recovery category backup PC and there was another app that was required as part of backup PC then this would that app would kind of come along with it Absolutely. not necessarily as part of this recommendation set but those dependencies already exist and not necessarily part of the categorization yes and and that was a good that was a lucky uh, selection for you i mean it's right there it's the first one but that one actually does have a dependency on the web server so installing this would automatically install the web server as well since it requires that and then like i, I said there's content uh, uh restrictions here you aren't going to be able to select both of these for example because it, it so you can't make a mistake. Yeah, you're not going to make a mistake. And even if you tried, it would say this this is exclusive with this other. Later, if I try to install that Active Directory connector, it's not going to let me because this is installed. So up here at the top, if you notice, we all made it all the way to six, and there isn't a uh, a button for you know install it now. That button has been available the whole time. So if you only wanted to do stuff out of the first two categories. You don't have to click all the way through the rest of them in order to uh, get it started. Hmm. This install button is uh, the same as the little marketplace icon. That'll get you started. Uh, per usual, you've got a, a list of uh, apps that are going to be installed, and we're going to hit uh, download and install. Now, none of the apps that I, 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 I selected had a fee on them. Uh, if you notice, some of these are have dashes through them. That's because they're not free, but I've already got them with the bundle on my particular subscription. So uh, there's no there's no cost at checkout here. So I hit download and install, and it will start the process for install. So let's say, for example, there was an app on that list that was, you know, charged. Yeah. Then the step before going to installation would be purchasing. That. That's that's right, and we'll cover that in another video okay. where we we actually do a, a checkout. So look for that if uh, you're trying to get apps that have uh, paid prices. To okay. them. That'll be in a in another video that'll specifically talk about paid apps and, and downloading those from the marketplace. All right. Well, thanks, Dave. We appreciate it. This is awesome. So we've we covered search in the marketplace and how you can. Uh, manage the settings as well as the feature wizard here towards the end and uh, thanks we'll look forward to more videos all right thank you